Today we have Susie Wallach Leiston with us. She's a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Susie, we'll we're going to focus in on working with seniors. Okay. So tell us why it's so important for our, our aging adults to stay active. Well, there's a couple reasons. And one is not only is it good for their physical well-being, there's also a mental component to this as well. Uh, the long-term health benefits of staying active and being physically moving, keeping your bodies moving. Um, it can help with that the long-term benefits as well as maybe somebody that's already got an issue, maybe some disabilities, maybe some illnesses they're dealing with. Hopefully that can make their lives a little bit better as well. Awesome. What's the difference between an exercise program and physical activity? How do you see that differential? Exercise programs are more structured, more repetitive, maybe like a weight training program uh, or a class, maybe somebody taking a class, a, a yoga class, a light aerobic class, more structure to it. Physical activity is more the things that you do in your everyday life. Maybe uh, if you're athletic, some people are golfers, some people play tennis, but then you got to think about climbing up and down stairs that become, you know, more ta uh, task taxing is the word I'm looking for as you get older. Uh, playing with your grandchildren, lifting them up, gardening, things that you like to do, your everyday life type activities. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Susie and what is your background in this and how long, you know, how long you've been doing it. What, what do you, what's your focus? Well, I have been uh, a group, I started as a group exercise instructor and I was 17 years old when I said, I want to teach classes because my mom uh, was teaching classes. She became an instructor. And I really in started enjoying taking classes. So I thought, well, I'm going to do this too. And to this day, my mom is still teaching, and she just turned 79 years old, and she still teaches classes, at awesome. five, like five classes a week. What type of what class? She teaches step and, and uh, weightlifting type classes, and like a combination. Weightlifting? Mm -hmm. Free weights? Yeah, well, you know, in a classroom, you use smaller weights, oh, right. and you do more repetitions, so it's right. not big, heavy right, things, right, but right. more of a toning type program. Nice. So I kind of followed in her footsteps, and now... Uh, almost 38 years later, I still teach classes. And then as the, the teaching was going along, I thought, you know, I really would like to work one-on-one -on -one with people as well. That's a different, different component. And so I started doing personal training. And just as the years progressed, I, st I really enjoyed working with seniors because their focus is different. I don't want to train a bodybuilder or somebody that wants to look great in a bikini to go to Hawaii. These guys, the seniors, have so much more that they are focusing on. They're so much you know. more grateful. They're so, they're so much more grateful. Honestly, that is absolutely true. I mean, that's the true. honest truth. It really is. And they, they see it as, uh, you know, this is their health and their quality of life. And that's so important. And they're important. committed. And they're committed. They're committed. My seniors are committed more than anybody else. So when they see, are they coming to you because they've just had some type of, I mean, are they coming to you healthy or are they coming to you like maybe they Needing just Needing to get a little more healthy, healthy or, or a little bit of both. A little bit of both, actually. I've started, you know, people that became seniors, you know, they weren't a senior when I started with them, and now they're a senior, right? Because <laughs> I've had some of the same clients and students for so many years, because I've been in the same gyms for so long. So, yeah, and you see uh, people ebb and flow, and, you know, I just was telling Patty I had one of my clients get diagnosed with breast cancer, mm. and that was, you know, she was doing so good, and, and now she's been gone like nine months, but mm. she's starting back next week so I'm very excited to get her back and now there's a whole different slew of things we have to work on because like neuropathy and things like that because of the chemotherapy so we're adding that in now to her programming so different focuses now for her. Do you have specific um, training things you do for seniors for balance because that's a huge thing. Huge, huge. I do I, and it can be very simple things like having them maybe they're doing a bicep curl and I just have them, okay, lift one foot up. Not real high, but just take that, that one contact point away so it just, you know, gets their balance kind of trickling in there a little bit so they can kind of feel it. And, you know, balance is so important because of, of seniors falling. Yeah, exactly. And that's huge. And what comes after a fall is the scary part. They can fall, Broken they hip. might break a hip. It's the hip breaking thing that seems to be so big and then from there, sometimes, you know, you've heard awful stories where they're in the hospital, they end up with pneumonia, they don't make it out of the hospital, and the next thing you know, you've lost somebody because they fell and broke their hip. Exactly. So that's a lot of, I, I work with balance even with my younger people as well, because you got to, might as well start sooner rather than later. 
Do you have a specific like class? for just balance or is it always incorporated with other things? I don't have a specific class, but I always incorporate it even in my, with my one-on-one -on -one people as well as in my group classes. And Pilates, we do a lot of balance work in a Pilates mat class. Okay. So, because you've got your core going and then you add in the balance and just keep adding these little things into what you're doing. And it just, it, it's one way to get it without them really knowing either. I'm naive on Pilates. What is actually, what is Pilates? Pil Pilates is a very, it, people like to say it's like yoga, but it's not. I don't, <laughs> they're similar, but they're not similar. Um, it is really focused on your core and keeping, the, like this is, this body here is, like think of it as a tree trunk. And then you've got all these tree limbs on your, uh, on your body. And that, you gotta have this strong in order to keep everything else strong. So it's a lot of abdominals, a lot of back, anything that keeps you stable. Okay. And it was developed by a gentleman named Joseph Pilates. So oh, the okay. name came from a man's name back in the 18, late 1800s. Well, and there's a couple of different kinds of Pilates. There's the Matt Pilates, there's right. the Reformer. So mm -hmm. there's, there's a couple of different kinds as well. Correct, so like Matt Pilates, typically that's done in a group exercise studio the way I do it. and if you want to do things on the reformers, which are machines that allow you to do the mat exercise with resistance, then that's like a that comes into personal training because you would pay extra to do that. Where the mat Pilates classes are typically included in your uh, if you join a gym or whatnot. So when you do personal training for seniors, is it is it can it be like two or three seniors who come to you and say, I mean, I feel better if I come as a group? Or? You absolutely can do that. It's really okay. you know that's fun too because sometimes that will keep them com committed, right? Some competition right? Like okay, hey, I'm going to the gym. Are you guys right, going? You know, right. it keeps them coming back. And then other people don't want to do that. They rather have the focus on them and work on what they need to work on. Do you find that um, improving your clients' balance is helping with their daily activities. Absolutely. Because okay. think silly things that you t take for granted. Uh, walking up and down stairs. Well, that's scary for, for a lot of seniors. And just, I mean, picking up your, chil your grandchildren. Most of them have grandchildren. Lifting them up. That's, you got to be strong and you got to balance to do that. And it also builds their confidence a little bit when they have good balance. And if they feel a little bit confident, they might say, oh, I can reach that thing on the second shelf and come up on my toes. Or I can walk on this uneven pavement and feel comfortable with myself. So it, it, it's a confidence builder as well. Or if that's you're that's like me, every yeah. time you trip, being able to catch yourself is, <laughs> is a benefit instead that's of right. falling face first. Exactly. Yeah, and I think that's probably senior citizens' biggest fear is falling. There's no question about no it. No question. I, and I'm, you know, being around older people all the time, I'm even worried for them. Like, I'm watching and I make sure I'm very conscientious of what they're doing and where their placement is so that I, I make sure there's no way they could possibly fall when they're with me or, you know, even going out the door of the gym. I follow them out there sometimes. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> just last week we, we were out, I mean, Rancho Bernardo, which is you know, mm -hmm. the hub of senior world, right? Right, and right. And we were in this community and this lady, she's got, she's got maybe like a 10 pound dog, oh. but, and she's walking. Now, can I get up? Can I, can I? Anyway, <laughs> um, and she's walking and she stops and she has her feet spread like three feet apart because yeah. dog is, her dog is starting to bark and pull right, her. Right, so she's trying to brace herself. And I'm going, oh my gosh, this yeah. is a recipe for, right. this is not a good thing. This was like a little dog. I mean, yeah. if she gets a bigger dog, we're in big trouble. <laughs> right, yeah, hopefully she doesn't. Yeah, the other thing that's funny too, I was thinking about it is when you see, uh, when people get out of a chair, and I, they, I even do this in my classes now. So they usually have their feet like right underneath them. They try to get them as close because they're going to launch themselves up. Well, look at my, which, look which direction I'm going. If you bring your feet out a little bit further, further and give yourself a better base of support, now use your legs so you're always strengthening and s their legs and stuff a lot. And I make them get up and down out of chairs as part of their exercise because that's, they fall coming out of a chair. Silly yeah. stuff. Or potty. In yes, the off the, uh, absolutely. Sitting on the toilet. And, and I know now there's railings and I know you can get higher toilets and things like that to help. But that's if you strengthen the legs and get your feet further away from the, you know, the chair. Getting out of the car is another tough thing. The cars, yeah. Yeah, that's so hard. Mm -hmm. so, so the little things that we, well, I'm, I'm probably close to being a senior. I don't know what this age is anymore. But, you know, things that you take for granted as you're younger. And now you have to really yep. think about. You have to think about now.
exactly, exactly. So do you, do you see a, an evolution? I mean, have you seen a lot of changes in the way we l work with older adults over the last five to 10 years? Has technology played a part in this in terms of the apps and the websites and things like that to help seniors? I am so non-tech savvy. I, I don't you're know about You're just doing, that. you're out there doing it. I'm, I'm doing it and I, I, I keep my education up and I go to conferences uh, once a year to learn new techniques and to see, and, and just keeping your eyes open and Really, it all comes back to the basics, though, is keeping, the, keeping your balance, keeping your strength, all that stuff that's so important. Core, so however you can core, do that. Core, 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 core. And that core has kind of been the big buzzword over the last right, few years, right. you know, since Pilates got really big. It's always been around all these years, but then it soared all of a sudden, and people are like, wow, this is really good. I really need this. I mean, now the hip surgery and the knee replacement surgery and the hip replacement surgery are just almost like you know, such common occurrences. True. Have you dealt with people in terms of setting up a program for people who are mm -hmm. coming out of those surgeries? I actually love that. And I'm willing to go with them to their physical therapy the last few sessions to see what they should and should not be doing. In fact, my dad is going to get his hip replaced here in the next couple months. He hurt it and, and, you know, he's stubborn and 10 years ago, you know, he hurt something that caused him, he thought he pulled like a groin muscle or something at the gym. Right? Well, he didn't do anything about it, didn't do anything about it. Pretty soon, this thing atrophies or whatever happens. Mm. Now the hip is in the wrong position, so now he's bone on bone. And mm. he's in miserable pain, and he's 79. I go, Dad, you're too young to be going through this. You've got a lot of life left. And he's not doing his fun activities that he likes to do because of it. So I think He'll he's... He'll be so happy. Yeah, I Everybody know. I know who's had hip I replacement surgery wishes they had done it way sooner than every, they did. I agree. I've heard that. I'm like, they're like, why did I wait so long? I think it, there's fear there. Right. Oh, Anytime well, any there's surgery, surgery yeah. right. there's fear. Right. So, but yeah, everybody I've talked to said, oh, I don't know why I waited so long to do that. <laughs> So what yeah. will be the number one thing that he'll have to focus? I mean, core, is it core going right back core, to core? Core, yeah. Core is huge for everything because that'll help him to be able to get up. And, you know, I, and they'll, they'll have him doing all kinds of exercises. I work with a, a gentleman now who's in his mid-60s, and he had a hip replacement because he fell off his bike and just injured the hip and Gone. just never quite was right. And so I have him doing all kinds of balance stuff. And, you know, now what load bearing on that leg that he had the hip replaced on. And it's amazing how far he's come. So they get it. I think, too, the, the way they do the surgeries these days is so much easier. It's not a big deal anymore like it used to be. Right. Exactly. Right. You know? I so. still, I'm still not a big fan of surgery. But. <laughs> no, no. You know, gosh, if you don't have to ever have it, great. But I'm, yeah. if my hip or my knee went haywire and it was, you know, I was not being able to do the things I love. It's, when, when can I get in? Let's get this done. So uh, your dad is 79. Yeah, both and, the parents are 79. Yeah, are they in San Diego? They're in Vista, yep. Oh, okay, well, mm -hmm. great. Okay. So my whole family is nice and local. Oh, well, that's great. Mm -hmm. well, I hope I wish him I wish him well on that. Well, thank you. I mean, I mean, that's he just 79. had his shoulder surgery. Now he's doing, <laughs> He didn't have to have a replacement, but he had to have shoulder surgery. And now he's going to do the hip because that's been really So will he, he's going to listen to you? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, my, we, we, we always, we can never get parents, I mean. No, I know, isn't it the funniest thing? My <laughs> sisters are both hairdressers and he does not go to them to have his hair cut. He still goes to the barber. <laughs> God love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, lastly, why should a senior seek out a personal trainer or a, a fitness expert? Why, why would a senior even do that? Why would they not just go to the gym and do some, uh, some weightlifting and maybe take a few classes? What would the benefit be of specifically working with a professional like the, yourself? The benefit would be that I or whatever trainer could design a program that would be specific to their needs, their issues, whatever they're going through physically, whatever limitations they may have. And then when, you're, when you put the person in a safe environment that's supervised, now you're going to reduce the risk of injury. And most seniors, that they're looking to improve strength. They're looking to get their balance in check, maybe improve their motor skills, maybe from a medical standpoint. They might be trying to possibly, I don't want to take meds. I'm going to keep my cholesterol in, under control. Try to stay away from medications. And, and bone density is a big thing as well. So they can do all that, and a trainer can help them do that, and, and they can stay safe. It, it, they can go in and do weights and take classes, but the supervision that you get going one-on-one -on -one is so much more intense. You know, and I think that's, if that's what they feel they need, then I, I think it's a great idea for them to have a trainer. 
And the group, like you were mentioning earlier, to go in with a friend, they can team train or, or two or three ladies come together. Or it's that commitment and, you know, the other one saying, hey, I'm going to the gym. Let's go. Well, I think so. it's I think it's hugely important and again if we could just get more of our isolated seniors to take that first step right. so to speak sorry right to, right to get out there I mean a little exercise gets the brain it's really good for the, the brain, brain. Oh, it's huge, it's I'm huge telling for you. the brain mm -hmm. um, you know I just it's it's kind of our passion is to get I mean, we, nutrition and nutrition and exercise right, are, huge. Uh, are going to solve a lot of the world's ills if everybody could just get their, you know, that morning exercise program going or afternoon, whatever it is, right, right. and eat properly. It would solve a lot of solve the solve a lot of the uh, outlying problems. Well, that's fantastic. You've yeah. been a wealth of information. Is there anything you'd like to that we haven't addressed that you that you know stories or that we haven't addressed to date hmm. that you see that could get get the word out. Yeah, get, I mean, you know, the, uh, the other thing that's super important to incorporate in with a seniors program is flexibility because that gives them, you know, freedom of movement. It's, again, the silly things you take for granted. It's hard for them to bend over and tie their shoes. Think about that as a, you know, wow, that's hard. Also, um, making the bed or the other thing that I see on a regular basis, is people backing out of a parking space and not having the enough range of motion in their neck to look over their shoulder to back up. So sometimes they just back up and don't look yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then hope for the best, yeah. right? So It's the Rancho Bernardo parking lot. That's right. The Vons and Rancho Bernardo. Love you all, yeah. but uh, my car is... <laughs> yes. I mean, I see that all the time. It's like, oh my gosh, they're just gonna, they can't see. They're just going to barrel out of that spot. Good luck, everybody. Susie, thank you so much for being here today. And continued congratulations. Good luck to your father. I wish him much luck and your rapid recovery. I hope your mom yeah. keeps teaching five classes every yeah, day. Yeah. She's still going strong. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't have any injuries either. Wow. I mean, she's got a little back issue knock here. Wood, knock a little wood. back yeah. issue here and there that flares up. But well, that's, she's for entitled the most to that. Part, good for her. I assume yeah, she's good. over 69. So. Yeah, she's 70. They're both 79. 79. They, they both turned 79 last year. I shouldn't awesome. be telling them that because I, I can't. Yeah, now they yeah, can't yeah, watch yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm busted. <laughs> Susie, thank you so much. Thank and stay you. tuned for more Senior Stay or Go TV.